The verb to be is one of the most basic and important verbs in the English language. It is used to indicate the existence or presence of a person, place, or thing. For example, I am a student uses the verb to be to indicate that the speaker exists and is a student. There are several forms of the verb to be, including am, is, are, was, and were. The form of the verb changes depending on the subject of the sentence. For example, I am is used when the subject is I, while he is is used when the subject is he. The verb to be can also be used as a linking verb, connecting the subject of a sentence to a subject complement. For example, in the sentence the soup tastes delicious, tastes is a linking verb connecting the subject soup to the subject complement delicious. In addition to its basic uses, the verb to be can also be used in idiomatic expressions and phrasal verbs, such as to be going to and to be on the verge of. In conclusion, the verb to be is a fundamental element of the English language, used to indicate existence and presence, as well as to connect subjects to subject complements. Its various forms and idiomatic uses make it a versatile and essential component of communication. Another important use of the verb to be is in the formation of passive voice sentences. In a passive voice sentence, the subject of the sentence receives the action, rather than performing it. The verb to be is used with a past participle form of the main verb to indicate this change in voice. For example, the cake was baked by the chef is a passive voice sentence, where was baked indicates the passive voice, and chef is the one who performed the action of baking. In addition, the verb to be is also used to indicate a state or condition, such as I am tired or the weather is nice. This use of the verb to be is often referred to as a state of being verb. Furthermore, the verb to be is also used in many idiomatic expressions, such as to be in a hurry or to be in love. These expressions add depth and richness to the English language and can be difficult for non-native speakers to master. In conclusion, the verb to be is a versatile and essential element of the English language. It is used to indicate existence, presence, linking, passive voice, state and condition, and idiomatic expressions. Understanding the various uses and forms of the verb to be is crucial for mastering the English language. Additionally, the verb to be is also used in various tenses to indicate the time of an action or event. The present simple am, is, are is used to indicate actions or states that are happening now or in general, while past simple was, were is used to indicate actions or states that happened in the past and future simple will be is used to indicate actions or states that will happen in the future. For example, I am going to the store, I was at the store yesterday, I will be at the store tomorrow. This ability to indicate the time of an action or event is crucial for communicating effectively in the English language. Furthermore, the verb to be is also used in many conditional statements. The use of to be in the form of were in the second clause of the sentence, is used to indicate hypothetical or unlikely situations. For example, if I were you, I would take that job here where is used to indicate hypothetical or unlikely situation. In conclusion, the verb to be is a fundamental element of the English language, with a wide range of uses and forms. It is used to indicate existence and presence, as well as to connect subjects to subject complements, passive voice, state and condition, idiomatic expressions, tenses, and conditional statements. Understanding and mastering the various uses and forms of the verb to be is crucial for effectively communicating in the English language.